What's up, people? This is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android, and today I have the top 15 tweaks and mods for your rooted device. And this should also inspire you to root your device because you would have a lot more advantages and more customization to your phone than stock Android. Now, I can't make a video showing how to root your phone because every single phone and carrier is different. So just search your phone model number and the carrier on Google and searching how to root it and you should be able to find it. All these tweaks are going to be used with exposed installer and once you get exposed installer you just go to framework and then you put install update it's going to install some patches and then you reboot your device. After that you go to download and you're going to find all the ones that I'm going to be showing today over here with this list and you can search them and I'm not going to be able to have links for it down in the description but I'm going to have their names so you just come here and search them. Now every time you download one you're going to have to check it and reboot your device so it's better to download all the ones you want and then reboot your device so you only reboot it once. So the first one we have is called advanced power menu and and right after the bat, you can just do this and customize what you want over here. Now, I have expand desktop. What this does is make it full screen, removes the status bar, and if you also have home buttons down here, you remove these. But if you drag it down, you'll see your notification bar. And you can just hold it and disable it right away. The second one is called burnt toast. And what this does is show the app icon next to the toast message. What a toast message is, is basically... I'll show you a toast message. It's that message that comes up over here whenever you do a command. So if I add this to my favorites, so a video added to favorites and then the icon right there. That's the that's what it does, is put the icon next to the toast message. That was the toast message right there. It just makes it look really nice and clean and simple. And I like how it shows the app icon next to the message. The third one is called Crappa Links. And what this does is basically removes the links that take you to the mobile version of the app. So if you have a YouTube link in it and you click it and then it takes you to the web version instead of the app, this removes that. It will take you straight to the app. And let's say you're on Twitter, you click an Instagram link and that usually takes you to the web browser. But with this one, it will take you straight into Instagram and show you the picture. And it works with every single app even Play Store, Vine, Twitter, so it's really useful. The next one is called Gravity Box. I don't have this activated right now because most of these features come with CyanogenMod Mod and I'm using right now. The main features that I love about this is that you can enable, let's say you go into uh, your texting right here, I'm gonna write a word and I messed up and I hate clicking like to go to the letter that I want so this one makes it easier where you can use the volume markers right here your buttons for the volume to go to switch where you want to type. So down goes left and then up goes right and you can switch that around. Also one of the other main features that I love about it, if you're listening to your music and I have a song playing right now, I'll just go home. And if you're on your lock screen, so I'll unlock it right here and show you the song. The song's Tupac staring through my rear view. And what this allows you to do is just by clicking up and down is of course gonna higher the volume and lower it. But if you hold up, just for a second, it's gonna play the next track. So right now it's Hail Mary by Tupac. I just automatically change the song without having to pull out my phone and going into the lock screen and clicking next. So I can have it in my pocket. This is what I do when I work out. I have it in my pocket and I just put my hand in my pocket and switch songs without having to look. So I'll press that again and now it changes the song. But if you press down and hold it, it's gonna go previous song. But if you're like 10 seconds into the song or 15, it's gonna restart the track and then if you press it again, it's gonna go to next track. The next app is called Greenify and this is actually on the Play Store. This is the only one I'll have the link for. What this app does is you control which apps you want to hibernate. Basically what hibernate means is you, they can't run unless you're the one that clicked the app to run it. So I have all these apps that usually are running in the background without my permission. So they just go access the internet and give me notifications that I don't want. All these apps right here I just don't want and they're always running in the background. So YouTube, I'll greenify it, I'll put, take it to Z. So now it's, it just closed the app down and I'll click greenify. So now all these apps got deleted from the background and now they're not running until I click it. So it's not gonna give me any more notifications until I click it. So this helps on the battery because the apps are not all running in the background at the same time. The next app is called Instagram Downloader and this is probably one of the most useful. So let's say I'm on Instagram and I wanna screenshot a picture. So like this one, having a 1080p screen, once you screenshot, that's a, that's a big file, it's 1080p, 1080 pixels by 1920, so it's gonna be like a megabyte, megabyte and a half. But with this tweak, it's gonna add a download link right here, so once you click download, 
to download a photo and you can see it downloaded the photo. It's really quick and it's way less than a megabyte, it's like 0.1 gigabytes because it's only downloading the picture and Instagram pictures are already small. You can also download videos. The next tweak we have is called Keep Chat and all this does is basically if you have Snapchat and you want to screenshot someone's picture without them knowing, usually if you screenshot it tells them you screenshot it. But with this one, it automatically saves every single picture you get to your gallery without them even knowing. You don't even have to screenshot it. As soon as you look at the picture or video on Snapchat, it's gonna automatically download and save to your gallery. Now, you can make it where it downloads every single picture or you can make it where it tells you, do you wanna keep this picture? The next one's called Min Min Guard. This is an ad remover. It removes all ads from all apps. I've been using this one as my ad remover for a while now and it's really good. It removes a lot of ads. Now, I see my friends using apps. I go get the same app. Theirs has ads and mine doesn't. So usually, this app right here called Bacon Reader usually has ads on it right here in the bottom it takes up this much space and with the app running it removes the ad the next tweak we have is called Pandora patcher with this if you have Pandora it's gonna give you unlimited skips and no ads at all so you don't need a modified version of Pandora or anything you just get that tweak you have unlimited skips and no ads so it's really useful I'll go next you're not gonna see a single ad or you know it's not gonna tell me you have this much skips left I'll go next keep going see there's no ads yet is five and six usually around after six you can't skip now I'm on seven eight really awesome app usually you'd have to pay for that the next one we have is called smooth system progress bars now progress bars are once you install an app when you uninstall an app it shows the progress bar loading usually on every single Android I've seen it's all laggy it's never a smooth status bar going across so I'll install an app right here to show you guys what I'm talking about so just notice how smooth it is that was really smooth compared to the stock Android one. And you can also customize it to what color you want and how big and how thick the bar is. The next app is called Snapshare. And what this does is basically let you share any picture from your gallery to Snapchat. So you can fool people by getting pictures from Google and then putting them on Snapchat because no one would think that you can put a picture from your gallery into Snapchat. For instance, this picture right here, all you do is go into your gallery and you go to share just like you would if you want to share it with someone and then you're gonna see snap share it there as soon as you click it it's gonna bring up a snapchat with that picture on it you can also draw on it put the text on it draw on it regularly like snapchat and I can add a text and I can send it to someone the next app is called X Halo floating window and this is one of my favorite tweaks and mods about having a rooted device. Now usually if I'm playing a game like 8-Ball Pool, this wouldn't allow you to go to another app to text and come back because it will automatically disconnect you from the game if you're playing with someone. I'm gonna just show you guys on Instagram. Let's say I'm on Instagram and I got a text or something but I don't want to leave the app. I just want to check it right like really quick. I can just hold my finger down over here and then it says open in Halo. I'll open it in Halo. And you see it brings up this mini window of this app. Instagram is still running in the back, kind of gets dimmed down. And I go into my email. I can, you know, do whatever I want, just like how I would in the original app, the full-sized app. And then after I'm done, I just click outside and it'll take me back to Instagram. Now you can do this with whatever app you want on your notifications, or you can even hold down on your recents and do it from here. So make sure to check this mod out. The next one is called Exposed Lock Screen Wallpaper. In your lock screen, it's going to take whatever you last had on your screen and put it as your wallpaper kind of blurred out. Just like this, you see my home screen is in the back blurred out showing that there's a lock screen on top. And you can do this with whatever app is on your screen. So let's say I'm on Instagram again and I lock my phone. Once I unlock it, you see Instagram is in the back blurred out and dimmed out and showing that there's a lock screen in front of it. And then once you unlock it, it'll take you into Instagram. Basically what it does is it takes a quick screenshot, but it doesn't save it. It takes a quick screenshot, puts it as a wallpaper, and then once you unlock your phone, it's waiting for you to lock it to get another wallpaper. The next one is called Expose Preference Injector. And with this one, it basically just takes all these and puts it in your regular settings right here. So it's more fluid. So you don't have to always go into Expose Installer. So you have them all right here quickly from your settings. You can go into the settings from these apps and change around whatever you want really quick and the last week we have is YouTube add away one of my favorites on this list because 
it just removes all the ads from YouTube. Everyone hates ads on YouTube. And basically you go into YouTube, watch a video, and there would be no ad. I haven't seen an ad on YouTube on my phone in months because I've been using this tweak for months now. Really awesome. And whenever I see an ad like on someone's phone, I'm like, whoa, I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. Hopefully this will inspire you to root your phone and see the advantages of having root access on your phone. There's a lot more. This is just 15 stuff that you can do on Exposed Installer. Now there's a lot more apps, tweaks you can go explore with. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like down below. It really helps me out. And if you got an Android, make sure to subscribe to this channel. This is an all Android channel. And share it with your friends whoever has an Android. Till next time, Android for life. Peace.